Hey guys, Joey66 coming at you from Superior, Nebraska, and today we have some very electrifying news. I mean, that was really, really weak. That was really lame. Okay, so CNBC is reporting that uh, Stellantis will spend 35.5 billion, with a B, dollars on uh, their EV program, their electric vehicle program. And as you know, Stellantis is now a huge uh, fourth largest car company in the world, I think. And uh, our Dodge cars are part of that company. Um, they said they are going to build a muscle car coming up for 2024. They've actually given a year of 2024, so that will be very, very quickly. Um, an, electric, an all electric muscle car, apparently, they are saying, as well as a fully electric Ram pickup, which is gonna put them actually behind uh, you know, Ford and GM on the electric pickup thing. They're both already uh, way ahead in that area, but uh, supposedly uh, 2024, Ram, I keep wanting to say Dodge Ram, but Ram pickup, fully electric. So we'll see what happens. What do you guys think? So pretty much all the automakers are doing this. They're all um, investing billions and billions into uh, the whole electric vehicle thing. So, I mean, I think this is inevitable. I know a lot of us, a lot of the people I see online, a lot of you guys here on YouTube and in my uh, comments and my videos and uh, all over, you know, Facebook comments and everywhere else, uh, Instagram, everywhere. Uh, a lot of people are not happy about this. They're kind of making fun of it. They're uh, saying it's going to fail. I don't know. We'll see. But I think for sure we're, we're getting this, guys. This is happening. So uh, we might as well get on board and uh, hopefully it turns out to be okay. Hopefully these cars turn out to be quick and fast and fun. Um, I'm hoping, I don't know, I'm not crazy about the whole electric thing. I, we do have a Tesla, I will say that, but uh, we don't have it because we think it's the greatest uh, thing for the earth or we're trying to save the world. We just think it's a pretty cool car and a fun car, and that's why we have it. I'm um, not trying to uh, force everyone else to have an electric car. Of course, we have our uh, Dodge Challenger Scat Pack as well, so they kind of uh, set each other off, equal each other out in a way, I suppose. Uh, but, you know... I don't know the whole electric car thing is it's just coming and it's coming really fast and uh, it's just every day it seems like there's a uh, new news about this and now from Stellantis. Stellantis has 14 different brands under its under its uh, uh, canopy there so uh, I'm sure all 14 brands are going to be getting uh, a lot of this electric uh, technology battery technology uh, so let's uh, Oh, let's take a deep breath and let's see what happens and let's see what happens to our uh, traditional muscle cars I guess I can't really call them traditional muscle cars, but our modern muscle cars, you know the Charger and Challenger um, And that's debatable too. We I'm sure I'll get some comments on whether or not those are muscle cars and whether or not an electric car can be a muscle car also, it says there's a bunch of uh, Jeep vehicles coming fully electrified and apparently at every Jeep segment they will have an electric vehicle so I suppose in all the different sizes and diff, you know all the jeeps will they'll have an electric version of all the jeeps apparently from what this article says on uh, cnbc now carlos tavares who is the uh, ceo of all of uh, stellantis uh made a statement and i'm going to read this real quick uh, let me put my old man glasses on so i can uh, read it without screwing it up and get the whole quote it says uh stellantis uh, CEO Carlos Tavares said that the company is in full ex execution mode, full execution mode regarding its plans for vehicle electrification. He said Stellantis expects more than 70% of its sales in Europe and 40% of its U.S. sales to be low emission vehicles, uh, which could be uh, fully electric vehicles as well as hybrid vehicles. Glasses off. Tavares also says our electrification journey is quite possibly the most important brick to lay as we start to reveal the future of Stellantis. He said this during a uh, electrification event that uh, Stellantis has been having some of these uh, electrification uh, like meeting event type uh, things and this is one of them and that's what he said in the in the uh, I guess apparently the last one so then the article goes on to talk about a lot of the things that these cars will have over the air updates which is already very common uh, Tesla's already have them other cars have over the air updates um, and uh, battery technology they're going into all this different battery technology and they're going big time and it's coming hard it's coming fast guys it's kind of a weird time I guess maybe it's an interesting time to be around for this stuff um, I hate to see the old stuff go away hopefully it won't just cut off and start with a new thing hopefully it'll be kind of a transition and maybe we'll get to keep the old uh, internal combustion uh, v8 hemis and all that stuff um, for a long time to come let's hope 
because I really think there's a place for both and I really think that uh, it would be a bad idea just to totally get rid of especially for Dodge I mean such a big part of Dodge is the Challenger and the Charger and and uh, you know that's what people think of when they think of Dodge right now and I don't think they think of uh, electric cars when they think of Dodge I think they think of uh, General Motors and Tesla and places like that when they think of electric cars and Ford but anyway we'll see so we can all quit making fun of Ford and GM for going so far into electric because we're right behind them guys <laughs> so it's kind of weird uh, comment down below what do you think do you think this is going to be a huge fail I know a lot of people seem to think that um, this is all going to backfire on all these companies and people aren't going to buy these cars but I man, I kind of I, I think they're wrong I think uh, I think this is going to happen and I think it's just going to become the norm and, and it's going to take a little while for certain people to come along uh, but uh, I think when it becomes the norm and it, and it and everybody gets in one and drives one and checks it out and you know, I think, like I always tell people with the Tesla, it's kind of hard to really get it until you get in it and drive it and uh, stomp on the accelerator, and it's pretty impressive. And uh, kind of changes your mind a little bit about the electric car thing. So I don't know, if you guys get a chance to drive one, uh, definitely do it. And um, I'm not saying it's going to, like, put you on a 180-degree turnaround and you're going to be like, oh, my gosh, I, now I'm totally in love with electric cars. But, uh, you know, give them a chance you almost have to because it's coming and we can't all hang on to our old cars forever i mean we can but not as like our main car um if you're under the age of uh 60 you're probably going to end up driving a hybrid or an electric car eventually sometime in your life um, unless you want to try to drive your dodge challenger on a daily basis for the rest of your life which probably isn't going to happen anyway guys i'm really happy to be getting another video out for you Please um, like and subscribe and uh, whatever else, all that good stuff that us YouTube YouTubers are supposed to say at the end of every video or during every video. Really appreciate y'all. Um, try to do some live streams. I've been really not doing any live streams. It's been a couple of months and uh, I need to get back to that. So I'm going to really try to work on that and get that done. It's just been things are kind of hectic. So uh, it's hard for me to uh, set aside a time where I know I can do it. And that's probably the main reason because I really enjoy talking to you guys live and uh, I think that'll be fun. Maybe we can set up something where we could actually have a guest or uh, some call-ins or something like that. But we'll see what we can do about that. Anyway, guys, Joey66 with Electrifying News. No. Uh, anyway, take care. Comment down below. Thumbs up. Subscribe. Uh, whatever else. Share it. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It's Joey66 coming at you from Superior, Nebraska. What was with that? <laughs> I don't know what that was. Hello. <laughs>